Hi guys, so today we're going to talk about how to use Canva to make an infographic. Infographics are really good to add to your posts. They can make the information that you've got in there much more digestible for your audience and you can also use them as pins on Pinterest to drive more traffic to your blog post. So they're a really great thing to put in your posts and additional sort of content that you can put out on social media as well to drive more traffic. People process pictures so much faster than words, so it can really help you get your point across too. So we're gonna use Canva. I've got a few other Canva tutorials, so if you want to go back and look at some of the beginner ones, then you can do that. But for this one, we're just going to go into the, you can see here there's all of these templates, so Canva makes it really easy for you to get started with design, even if you've not really got a design bone in your body. So you can go down to the blogging ebook section and then you'll see here infographic. So you just select that one and wait for it to load up. And it'll bring you lots of possible templates. So you can look at the side here and there are really, there are so many. Some of them when you hover over, as you'll see, some of them have the pound, the dollar sign, um, other ones will be free. So you can decide whether you want to pay for them or not. To be honest, they're only a few dollars, sort of three dollars or so maybe for each one. So if you did want to use them, it might not be the end of the world because obviously you trade it off against the amount of traffic that you are going to get. So you can see this one's really cool and that's a free one. This is also a free one. Um, same here and you can decide just go through and find one that's going to be what you want for your particular piece of content so let's just go in and pick this one um, now you just literally click on it and it pops up there and then you can also I'll make it a bit bigger so we can see you can then change all of these bits individually so you just click on each element and it will enable you to change it so the first thing we'd probably want to do is to so say I did a post about five reasons why you should you can just drag it out a bit and you might decide that you don't like this font at all go live so if you wanted to encourage people to do Facebook live and then you can just highlight the text go down find something that you like better so we could leave it at that for the time being but we probably change actually and then I can highlight the text and pick my brand colors which I've got in there because this is Canva for work um, so I might change that to something a little bit so we'll leave it at that for a minute I probably wouldn't it's a bit comical for but it's quite a cool font then you can decide to change all of these bits um, so you just highlight the bit and then change it to the color that you want it to be and then it, if you click on it it gives you the option to change all of the orange color to that so that's easier than having to do it all by you know click on on each little bit um, and then again I can decide that I want to so this is actually the, if you click on it and it doesn't and it highlights it like that then I can go in and change the orange color again to the pink so I want yes I want to do that and then and then already it looks like it's much more like my branding which is great and then all you literally have to do is you can decide if you want to keep that or get rid of it so that might work for what you you know you want to do and then you can just change these headings it's just off the top of my head because I haven't got a blog post for this but develop a real connection to your audience and then you obviously you could change this text or you could take it out completely and if you wanted to put you know something else in there you can go to the uploads and oh sorry the elements and then you can there's different icons if you wanted to add another icon in there or you know whatever you wanted to do and if you say if you did want to add an icon and um, that looks like a person doesn't it so say just for example sake we reduce that and then say we wanted to change the color again and we wanted then to duplicate that because we want two people and then we wanted to just line it up the lines help you and then say you wanted like some sort of arrow or something you could like something like this you could drag this in and then put it you know around your people or whatever and then change the color of that as well maybe a different color and then just 
decide that you're going to make these people a little bit smaller I would have probably just deleted that one and then when I have this one the right size I would copy um, it over so I don't have to make sure it's the right size I know it's the right size and for example you know you can add an extra obviously you would make that a little bit smaller anyway because it's in the wrong place but you would add an you could add an extra elements if you wanted to or if you just wanted to add the text in as it is here so that is literally all you have to do to make an infographic on Canva. Now I would always make sure that I put my URL in the bottom of anything that I create. So if people take your infographic and embed it into their blog post, which is what people tend to do with infographics, then you know you've always got your URL in the bottom of it, which is great for branding and to help people find you. So literally you could do anything you wanted. You can change, if you wanted to change the background color, you could just select the background and, you know, change that color. If you wanted to you know, leave it, we had it that color, didn't we? So you can change every little bit of it just by literally clicking on it and deciding to change the color here. It, it's, it couldn't be more simple. And then you just download that as, um, I always download as a PNG file, but you could do a JPEG if you really wanted to, and then literally it's done, and you just pop it in your post, and, and that's it, and that's literally how to do an infographic on Canva using their template. So Canva does make creating infographics for your blog post so easy. Anyone can do this. Just change the text, click on things, change the colors, swap in some graphics, make sure some of the graphics might, you might not be able to change color, but most of them, as soon as you drop them in, and you'll see that up there, that's the color. So you can literally change anything to suit you. But it makes great infographics in a few minutes with very little design skill. I hope that's helped. Mm -hmm.